Hello, I'm Andrew Lisson. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Vichy France, Fascist France. Uh, we're doing okay. Uh, we are currently invading Canada, uh, Mexico, everything from Mexico all the way down to and including Colombia. So that's all going really well. We actually had a naval landing here, managed to take Mexico City. Um, got a couple more planned. It's not going too badly. Uh, Sweden, taken. Norway, taken. And we could finish off Denmark. We're actually going for Iceland if I gave a damn. But I don't. Um, we're getting pretty close to being able to finish off the Second World War. Not, not bad. Not bad. So uh, we're just going to continue pushing on. We've got a number of uh, little plans. Currently this uh, front is pushing up here. We've got a front pushing up here. Less resistance over on this side, of course. Oh, hello. Thank you. That's going to increase our speed of which we can get material out. Although not a desperately bad thing for us. Uh, we have kind of a lot of material. I guess we'll go for construction time, although just going to go to repairing all the stuff that all of our, like, insurgents are taking down. I mean, freedom fighters, terrorists, insurgents, resistance, whatever. I call them scum, personally, but, you know, that's just me. Um, what are you doing? Are you just standing there? Yeah. This, this line here is a bit too weak to push, so I've kind of just given an order to hold tight for a moment. Uh, who is targeting our Alpine region? Seriously, is there anyone nearby who's actually, like, an enemy? I, I mean, guess there's Greece? All right, I've got our medium tank destroyer, and also... We can now do... Power drop. Okay, yeah, do that. Uh, we need 70% air superiority. Oh, hello. That's a lot of fighters. Okay, um, I, to be fair, we've had like a lot of fighters with chickens for a very long time, so I guess we have a lot sitting around here. <coughs> oh, my voice has just decided to die. All right, give me, give me that. Close air support, 600. And there we go, we've got like a, a thousand fighters. Sure. Give me a wing of 400. And then I guess we could get more. Ah, they'll probably give up as soon as I put the fighters out. And then the British won't have a single hold in the Mediterranean, which will mean, um, well, normally it would mean that their navy would be kind of out of luck, but I'm pretty sure the navy died a long time ago. I'm not actually sure where the navy went, but we kind of ignored it for a few years and it just disappeared. Might be because they just ran out of resources or something. Or maybe Germany took them down. I don't really mind. They died. That's the important part. Oh god, we're going to be there for like a year as well, that transfers. So let's do the research in the meantime. Um, let's start on the tank. Yeah, two years ahead of time, whatever. And Germany has just started going against everybody. Yep, there we go. Ecuador. Alright, take him down. Can we do the power drop now? It looks like we've got S priority. Yeah? Okay. Cool. I'm somewhat surprised. Oh, there was like no resistance. I mean, that was a bit anticlimactic. But sure. <laughs> I guess it worked. I don't think I can complain about it. I guess we'll just go back to the airfield. And then we'll compare a drop over on... Um, what's this island called? Crete. Yes. I forgot what Crete was called. I can do geography. Um, we'll also send this unit over here. Right, how are we doing up here? Expanding. Front's pushing forwards. We'll go up some speed then. How about our marines? Oh yeah, all of our uh, new units are pulling on now. How far away are you? What the hell? That's a lot of invasion. You're fine. 
What the hell are you doing? Where are you invading from? <laughs> South Central Atlantic? I I am it's, um, what? I mean, what? I don't even understand what it's on about. Like, surely we're only using maybe three zones? I doubt we've been doing that. It's like, oh, we need the South Central Atlantic. I mean, what? There's 22 units, and there's 22 here. I'm not imagining that. I can't delete the order, which is what I'd normally do, because then it will reset the time. What the hell are you thinking? South Georgia Sea? What? I just, just plain old what? Uh, what are you imagining? We're gonna do a round the world trip? Oh, due to pa And then just at the end, due to Panama Canal being blocked between the Caribbean Sea and the Western Coast Canal, armies cannot invade. I mean, you know what? Just, just bin it. Bin it. I don't know what you're imagining. Oh, apparently you want to... Okay, why do I have to be on the other side of this province to invade, hmm? This? This is annoying. Paradox. You should have seen this. Oh, uh, wait, is it... Come on. And can I not invade that province? I don't understand why I can't invade some provinces, but I can invade, like, I can do this. But I'm not allowed to do that? Hearts Fun is a good game. But sometimes it really does frustrate me. Do those two provinces then. That way you can at least hit Colombia. And your time has been reset, which really knocks me off. Okay, do we have any... Oh, some tanks. There we go. Motorized. Just gonna push ahead. Uh, we declare war on Peru. Because why not? It's not like Germany's to do any of the work. I, I know I've got free dockyards available. At this point, I don't really give a damn. Is there anyone actually opposing us? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> sure. There's so little opposition. Right. What unit are you? Okay. Are you actually doing your orders? Do you actually have any orders? Got a Marla capitulated. I mean... Enough to be expected. Let's delete your orders then. Right. Front line. Oh, sorry, offensive line. I always do that. There we go. Pushing forwards properly now. And I guess we'll continue to... Uh Grab northern Northern Canada. That's a great capital city. Sixteen. Now you're talking, Italy. Sixteen. I can do something with sixteen divisions. Bolivia declared war. On Bolivia. Okay. Mexican Empire declared war on Mexico. Rebellions in the Americas, in both Central and South America, revolutions have taken arms and risen in rebellion in the name of democracy. They're generally... Oh, God. Mexican Empire. Democracy. They didn't rise up in the name of democracy. It was literally a fascist coup, because there was fascist Bolivia in there as well. In the name of democracy. 
They're generally well equipped and well organized, and if they had been champion of our ideology, the funding would have been easy to trace. Are we supplying these movements may have had a American Civil Coup as a once in a lifetime event. Oh, the irony driven from that statement. Um, wait, uh, not irony, sarcasm. That's the one. Uh, are you? Where is fascist? I have no idea. That's Mexico. I'm not sure where fascist Mexico comes into this. I don't actually see... Oh, there we go. Mexican Empire. And here. Huh. Okay, what about Bolivia? Oh, apparently you're having a fight. Okay, flagonist Bolivia. I guess it was the Free American Empire who used an ideology thing to get that happening. And it was like, well, it's America doing it, so it must be fa it must be like, you know, demo democratic, which seems wrong to assume that. You'd think they'd have designed that a different way, but okay. Um, meanwhile, they've been called in. Canada stopped having capitals by the look of it. Cap Canada's just given up, like, I, I don't have count. Wait, no, that is the capital. It's still there, but I control it. What? Normally that's like a victory point. Okay. I'm just going to get the troop transport just to run around. Alright, what about you? Well, someone needs to finish off Canada. That much is for certain. And their forces are just chilling. Yeah. Oh, they, they got overrun. That's fine. Oh, is that it? Have the allies given in. Okay, so I got five thousand. You got a thousand. Okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely want the United Kingdom. That is mine. In fact, can I just find the United Kingdom on here? Tickle states. Thank you. And I mean, we can't really go for that if we're not going to get Ireland as well. Um, then I want that just just so it make you know it'll make it look a bit better. Can I have British Raj? British Raj would be nice. Afghanistan. Oh. This is how the Second World War really ended. Right, where's Afghanistan? It should be under A, right? Australia. That is not Australia. Or very tempting to have Australia. I could get Australia. New Zealand? I mean, I want New Zealand. It's got absolutely stunning views. What are you? Oh, Democratic Republic of. D. Wait. What are these ordered by? Oh God. Who who thought this was a good idea? What are they, what are they even ordered by? Democratic Republic of. It doesn't even say Afghanistan. That's why I got confused. I could probably get the Netherlands. That'd be nice. Um, I'm thinking I have to grab Belgium, which is here. Then I can grab the Netherlands. Yeah. I don't think I can get much more because I gotta go. I can get like 500 points more. I love Iceland. I want. I love Greenland as well. They've got. They've got a lot of territory, right? And then, can I have? How much Canada can I grab? Wait. Why does the United States still exist? Shouldn't this be mine? Didn't they capitulate? I'm so confused. Why do you exist, United States? I don't know. The United States even on here? No. Why? 
It's maybe because they've got a civil war going on, and technically I can't grab anything because the civil war has, like, first claim on it. But why would they, like, fabricate a claim against me? I, I have no idea. I really don't know how some of this game works. South Africa. Yeah, I need South Africa. Ooh. Okay, end turn. Who got this? Oh, someone liberated them as a bloody protectorate thing. German Reich got Finland. No, actually, German Reich made Finland into Finland. But it's the same color? What is the left? You know, I'll take all sticks in Colombia. Take all of them in Sweden. Take all in Finland that are left. Take all. Take all. Take all. Take all. Ooh, I need a turkey. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm out of points. Let's reset and let's just grab turkey first. Then Iraq, which is there at the top of the list, because that makes sense. Um, then I guess I could get Bulgaria, although it, it, it looks a bit like it sticks out a little bit. I don't know, it might look ugly. I'll grab that. I cut Australia. Right, how much can I get? Tasmania. Oh, it still has the names on it. So yeah, they did take Finland. That makes sense. Okay, well, let's grab New Zealand. I can't take all of Australia because someone's pubbed it, I think. Oh, I can't take that much. Wait, how much can I take? Wait, I have 1,100 points and I can just go bam. How much does that province cost? What? Wow, okay. Um. Is there anything remaining? Colombia. Norway. Sure, I want I want the coast. Sorry, Germany. I'm not really that sorry. Right, what is the left? Australia. I don't know what I could really get from Australia, but it's tempting. Definitely going the Philippines. Well, it looks like someone's puppeted them as well, or whatever. Or changed faction, or whatever. Hey, someone did the same thing with Australia. That makes me sad. Oh god, I can't even do that. I can do that. Ah. Can't do that. Is there anything else? Crease? Yeah, I'll go for Crete. That'd be lovely. And that's it. Done. And it's calculating. We'll get there. France literally stretches from all the way up there, all the way down there. Highest point on the map to the south, southest point, the southernmost. German Reich took 23, so the German Reich didn't. Oh god! <laughs> Straight into another war. Free American Empire. God damn it! Why do you even give the territory to me? 
I took 187 states. I could declare on the entire faction, but it would just be so messy because I'd be going against Japan. And I'd be basically facing down the entire world. Um, I think this is probably a good place to call it. I know we didn't get to use any uh, nukes or whatever, and America still lives. But I, I just... We could basically declare war, but we'd have to leave the faction. And if we did that, we'd be facing everybody. And while we could feasibly you know, try and take them on, We'd also lose all the troops they sent us, which is kind of the main manpower we have. Uh, and we'd also then have to fight on, like, all of the fronts. So... It might be something we could do in, like, a stream or something, but it would take ages to set up. Like, there would literally be ten episodes of me just building units and sitting back, um, preparing. And I'm still not sure if we'd win. It's much more fun to have the bit where you drive the countries off the rails to begin with. So what I think we'll do is... I'm very disappointed we didn't get America. Uh, I think we'll start a new campaign as another country. I'm, I'm tempted by Communist Canada. I'm interested to see what people suggest. Um, maybe, I don't know, Japan. We could go Communist Japan. Nah, that's a bit too easy. Um, could try... Can you make Germany Communist? Mm. You can make them have an alliance with the USSR. It's in their focus tree. We could go one of the Scandinavian nations, maybe? could go... I mean, Finland would be a tough one, because you've got the USSR nearby. Slow burning, because they don't necessarily declare on you straight away. But uh, there's a couple of other nations like that that you could think of, like maybe Turkey or something. Not main nations. I mean, you could always do Poland and be, like, very much uh, living on a timer. I mean, I would suggest Britain, but we did that for the stream. Um, but yeah, I've been there really If you have enjoyed, please remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. That was a fun play. I mean, we could continue, like I said, but I, I don't think there's a lot of value in doing it. I think the, the most fun part is doing the actual wars themselves. And now it's just so big, we'd literally take on the whole world. Kind of feels like that's, you know, useful. And the best part is when you've got these big factions facing off. So, I've been at Relissim. If you have enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Any suggestions for a new uh, country, do let me know down below. I mean, we could also do Mexico versus America or something. I think the best thing to do would be like a cop game where some places in Canada, some places in Mexico, and you have to take out the USA. And then maybe take on South America. See what we can do from there. Kind of amusing. But yeah, until next time, stay shiny. Vive la France! <laughs>